Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be visiting my church in Kentucky with some friends. They have an event called Homecoming, which is for those who have not visited the church yet, due to it being an online video church, they have a main church in Kentucky. So I'll be visiting them there. So please join me on this journey. Here is the hotel room that was a slam on the door. Probably should have held it. Oh well. Let's take a look at the view. Look at this gorgeous view. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Oh, someone's having a wedding. Moving on. <laughs> so, here I am in Kentucky. Very excited about it. Looking forward to seeing what the church looks like. That was a very, very long trip. So here we go. First time entering the building. I have no idea what to expect. Ooh. Holy cow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Kids up there, chapel. Hello. Beautiful. Okay, so what am I doing here then? So what you're going to do is you're going to take a name tag, and on the back of your name tag is an agenda of everything that's going to go on this week. You're going to fill out your name and where you're from, and you're going to put it in this cute little plastic cover. Plastic cover, okay. You're going to grab a lanyard, it's in a bag, and then you have your choice of whatever you want. You can get stickers, posters, our Everything is Backward Teaching series is there. And then grab a shirt. Excellent. Thank you so but much. Make sure you grab a bag for your swag. Will do. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Swag bag has been acquired. My face is super close to the camera. So they also have little ice bottles here. Not little, regular. You guys want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> Happy homecoming. Happy homecoming. So we got... These lights. Holy tomatoes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, everybody, welcome to Homecoming. We're glad that you're here. We will officially uh, get things started here. If we've never met before, my name is Steven, and uh, we are just so glad that you have set aside this Friday night to be here in the atrium uh, of our Blake and Baker campus. Uh, one of the things you may not know about me is for years I was on staff at a different campus, uh, our Southwest campus. I was down there for several years, and my wife and kids still attend that campus and ever since I started leading the online ministry I'll go back there just a handful of times on Sundays 
uh, to meet people. I've got great friends there, and I'll show up uh, there. So it's like my little miniature homecoming at my Southwest campus family. But I've got a little secret, and uh, if you go to Southwest, which Mary Lou does, you'll have to not share the secret. I don't always love going back to visit. And I'll tell you the reason why is because literally every single time I go back to Southwest, everybody says the exact same joke to me 100% of the time. All right, are you ready for this joke? I mean, I just need to think about this for a second. The same joke is, uh, are you real? Oh, Mr. Digital Man, you are real. And then they'll go to the next level and start touching me, which if you know me, I don't want to be touched. <laughs> and it's that joke a hundred times on a Sunday. And so I don't always love that. You know, one of the things that's not lost on me in this moment with being a part of an online church, and some of you are from states that are far away. Some of you have traveled hundreds and thousands of miles. Others of you, like we work really well because of your job and other commitments and you live locally in Louisville. But all of you, by being a part of an online church, I'm sure at times have moments of going, are, is this thing real? Like, is, like, can we actually have relationships like this? You know, like, is that actually a real thing? And I hope more than anything, the vision I want to put out before you on homecoming weekend is that it is real. And when you come to a moment like this, when you see some of our groups that are interacting over the weekend, you're gonna go, oh my goodness, this thing, it's, it's real. Like I can actually touch the people. It, like there's something happening. How many of you have met someone you met online for the first time this weekend? You, you're now meeting them in person for the first time. How many of you have others that are yet to come that you know are coming later this weekend? Yeah. What's interesting about that, you've seen them on Zoom, What's crazy about this is, like, you'll recognize them and your relationship will be there. You guys that have done this before, you're going to know my joke. The thing you always get wrong is their height, isn't it? Like, they're always, <laughs> they're always like, shorter or taller. I hope I didn't disappoint you on whatever image you have of me. I'm 5'10". Uh, I've had people come in and go, you're way taller than I thought. And others tell me they're way sh I'm way shorter and I, I, don't, I don't know how to help them uh, through that. <laughs> But guys, this is something that's really, it is real. And so I really want to say welcome home. This is your church family. You know, it's funny that Lincoln Baker campus, you see we film right here every Sunday or most Sundays right here. Um, this is kind of like the center of activity for this campus. And so I think it is kind of fitting that that's going to be where we're at tonight. So uh, we'll talk more. We'll have a great time. Uh, my biggest advice is that all the things that we do, I just want you to throw yourself at it, okay? Just go with it. It may make you a little uncomfortable or we may have you do something you've never done before. Uh, you may be meeting someone new, but but do the uncomfortable things. Right? Yeah, so they're going to be in trouble this year, big time, like a week. This is the Stillwater Coffee Company. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. Well done. So this is breakfast at the True Hilton Hotel. Got some milk. It's, tr it's a true sip. Wow, that's, that's fancy. I didn't know it was real. And then some butter and syrup. Now to try the pancake. <laughs> wow. That's all I can say. And this starts day two.
my Olive Garden. Yeah. <laughs> this is the hallway where people are kind of waiting on baptism weekends. If you watched on Easter and we had baptism weekend, we had people sign this banner and been signing it since then of the decisions that have been made uh, this year. If you want to, the baptistry is up those stairs. So you, you have to come up and come back down. Yeah. We're going for a swim too, huh? Yeah. It looks different from here. You may notice behind you there's kind of that fake wall. That's because there's risers uh, built into the wall on the other side of that. So this used to be the choir room uh, where they would have rehearsals and all of that. So uh, worship team hangs out back here. Sometimes we hang out back here before they kick us out and they're like, you guys aren't cool enough. And they're right, we're not. So, no, I'm kidding, that, that has never happened. Uh, so anyway, this is backstage area. We will, where am I at? We wanna go through that way. talk about I think uh, is that when this building was built uh, they decided that the cross was going to be the capstone of the building literally uh, you may notice that the the cross as you walk in it is at the center point of this building and it holds the entire building up it holds the roof trusses up uh, the cross is is situated right above us right above the pulpit and that was on purpose uh, so that we would remember what we're preaching yeah. and what it is all about a couple stats about the cross that is right above us. It is four stories high. Uh, it is a four story high cross and it sits 130 feet above ground level and requires an FAA clearance uh, just for it to be up that high. Uh, it also, like I said, it extends as the keystone for the entire building. All 12 trusses that hold up the roof lean on uh, the cross for their support. And in fact, the cross extends beyond what you see off the top of the roof. The cross extends 32 feet uh, below the roof line and is a key architectural component of the building uh, as the cross is a key architectural component of the church. Uh, it's it's what we're all about. It's it's what we do. We're getting ready to baptize uh, two from Wisconsin today. And, uh, yeah. so, this is Diane and we met on the phone the first time, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we talked a number of times about a year ago, mm -hmm. about a year ago, and it's super fun to see what what God can do. I love what's happening in Wisconsin because you guys think it's online, but it's totally in person there, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, just so cool to see all the relationships that have led to this moment, haven't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the product of people kind of surrounding you mm -hmm. and being with you in this moment. One of the things I was just telling them before this that I'm going to share with all of you is baptism's about two different things happening. It's about your past and your future connecting at the same time. And if you think about it, the moments in life when you cry are when those two moments collide. Like at a funeral, right? Like the past and the future, they're hitting at that moment. It makes you emotional or a graduation or a birth. And this is one of those moments where uh, you're coming in, you're marking a time, right? Where your past is on one side and your future is on the other. We're about to take a confession of faith uh, where they're going to repeat after us. And I love the ending where it says uh, that you say, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Because it connects those two things. You're saying he's the Savior of my past and Lord of my future right? Mm -hmm. And he's saving me from who I used to be, but he gives me a new way to walk. And so I think it's beautiful that both of you, uh, Tom and Diane, that you have a community that gets to surround you in those next steps. You're not walking out of here alone today. And certainly you're going to remember today. So yes. I'm going to have you and Tom, I'm going to have you repeat that confession of faith after me, okay? okay. All right. So I believe, I believe that Jesus is the Christ, that that Jesus Jesus is the, Christ, Christ the Son of the living God, the Son of the living God. God. My Lord and Savior. My, My Lord, Lord and Savior. Savior. Okay. <laughs> because you've placed your faith and trust in Jesus, you're being baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And this is Tom. 
Tom and his wife Sherry. Tom, because you place your faith and trust in Jesus, you're being baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So that was the end of the tour. Pretty amazing. I I was blown away by how much was there and how much I didn't expect to be there. But all in all, beautiful building. And then later on tonight, we're gonna come back for a campfire. Oh God, my God, I need you. Oh God, my God, I need you now. Is how I need you now. Oh, Raku, Raku, Vages, I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your Hey guys, today is day three, the final day of homecoming at Southeast Christian Church. And today I got special permission to go into the backstage room where they make it happen. So please, follow me. Absolutely. So I get ready to go by on Friday. On Friday morning, I get the call as I'm driving in there and said, hey, um, just so you know um, what you're walking into, they, they just found out that he's not going to make it till Christmas. He's not going to make it past today. You're going to walk into a room full of family. I just wanted you to know. Some of you eat green bananas. Come on, what's wrong with you? Be normal, okay? Be normal. <laughs> 
But then some of you, like my dad, my dad was this way. He would wait until it got brown. Not bruised, but brown. Anybody else? Yep. Don't woo that. It's weird. It's sweet. <laughs> but we're all like, no, we're North Americans. Give me it when it's yellow and my kids hands haven't wrecked it and their top's not broken off it's like i want to i know when i look at the outside what i'm getting on the inside hey guys i'm gonna stop it right there if you're interested in finding out more about the church i'm gonna put a link in the description below yeah well that was that folks thank you for sticking around and seeing what it was all about with me it was just an amazing experience i'm so glad i got a chance to go uh I plan to go there another time next weekend, actually, to go to the uh, recording of their new album. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good day. Oh, gosh, I'm saying y'all. <sighs>